Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be creating a macOS Catalina USB installer for Hackintosh systems. This video is for educational purposes only. First, we need to download the macOS Catalina installer app. If you're on macOS Mojave, simply open System Preferences, click Software Update, and wait for the Catalina update to show up. Once it appears, simply press the Upgrade Now button. Once it's finished downloading, it will open the installer app. Close out of this and continue to the next step. We now need to insert a suitably sized USB drive to be reformatted. A 16GB drive is required, but a larger drive will work just fine too. Once your drive is inserted, go ahead and open Disk Utility. In the top left corner of the window, select the View Options button and select Show All Devices. Once that's done, select your USB drive, not the partition, in the left sidebar. Then, we will press the Erase button at the top of the window and use the options that are shown on screen. Be sure to change the partition name to USB. When it finishes erasing the drive, we can then move on to copying the installer files to the USB drive. All we have to do is open Terminal and paste in the command found in the description below. Press Enter type in your password, followed by pressing enter again, and let it copy the files to your USB drive. Once this is done, we can then move on to installing the Clover bootloader. We now need to download and install the Clover bootloader to allow our USB installer to boot on our system. The download link is in the written guide. Be sure to change the install location to the USB drive, otherwise you can risk damaging the EFI partition on the computer that you're using. We then need to customize the install. You need to visit the written guide to see the options that you need to select. A link to this written guide can be found in the description below. I do this because the options change over time, and I can update it on the guide whenever that may happen. Once it's finished installing, we then need to download and install the Kextar system requires into the EFI partition. You are required to either have fake SMC.kext or virtual SMC.kext installed. My system also needs usbinjectall.kext and Athros E2200 ethernet.kext. Your system most likely requires different kexts. These kexts and more can be found on the Mark with Tech website. Now it's time to boot the system. We need to get into the boot menu of the system in order to boot to the USB installer drive. Many BIOS show the key to press on the post screen. If not, refer to your motherboard's manual for the correct key to press while booting. Once you're in the boot menu, select the UEFI version of the USB installer drive. When you're in Clover, press the letter O on your keyboard to get into the options menu. Then, press the enter key on the boot args line and type hyphen lilu beta all. Then press the enter key again, then press the return button at the bottom of the list. Hover over the macOS Catalina entry and press the enter key on your keyboard. Now we're booting macOS Catalina. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe for other Hackintosh related content. Enjoy your Hackintosh system.